But once you get out of there, it's like on. Oh yeah, and it's, it's on. like it's 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 brutal racing. Yeah, like, we had a good battle. We had on a good Sunday. battle. I love that. Hey everyone, so that's uh, the new series, Meet the Drivers, and today I've decided to go with Scott McLaughlin. Is it McLaughlin or McLaughlin? McLaughlin. But you, you French guys, you always say McLaughlin, which is What's well, it's fine. a GH. Yeah, well, and, and the Americans say it as well like that. Yeah, so they do. Like, it's, you just gotta remember the lock. McLaughlin. Yeah. It's like a broken gap. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, what like I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> so, so yeah, you, get, you get it right most of the time. Okay, good. And the funny thing, the first time I heard about you, I didn't like you. Yeah. Because right. when, you, when you got to V8 Supercar, I was really good friends with Alex Premat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when you joined GMR, yeah. you started kicking his butt yeah. and winning races. I was like, who is that guy? That's... But you know, Alex is one of my best friends now. Like, it's like, we, I just with the, was with him in Vegas, as you know, for his 40th birthday. And yeah, he was a great teammate, mate. And, um, but that's where I met you. I, I don't know if you remember. Australia I met... 2013. Yeah, 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 yeah. I met you there for the first time. Yeah, I was. that was the first time I was in it. F1 paddock and I was checking it all out. I was just in awe. I think I met Nico Rosberg. I breezed past Hamilton there for a little bit. It was, it was amazing. It was amazing. And the funny part of that paddock is we are happy to go to the V8 Supercar paddock yeah. just to see, you know, right. the cars. So yeah, but you're like, too popular. When you guys leave, you like just get hammered, right? It's it's a bit of a problem in a yeah. Formula paddock. Yeah. Right? yeah. So yeah, first when I hear about you, I didn't like you. Yeah. And then you started winning races, yeah. and then you won Bathurst with, yeah, uh, with Alex, Alex and Mont Panorama. Yep, that's uh, the place you got to go to. Yeah, I need to do that. One. Yeah, you should do Bathurst one day. Cool. Uh, on surface. Fridays you want, yeah. Yep. Bathurst and Surface Fridays, yeah, yep. you're wrong. And how many wins do you have in here? Uh, uh, I think we had 53? 55, 55 wins in supercars. And, and you have the record of pole position? Yep. No, we had the record for the... Uh, you're youngest winner. Yep. Youngest winner, the most wins in a season. We had 18 wins one year. And then most poles in a season, which is the same, so 18, I think. So. Wow. It was, we had a great run and Alex was along the way for that. He was my co-driver for three, four years. Um, longer actually, we did a couple of co-driving stints in, in the Volvo back in the day. Blue car, beautiful car. So six years I think we were together and um, and then obviously teammates. So we had some good fun. Supercars are an amazing car. Highly recommend them going, going back and racing them. Um, but got the opportunity to come over here and I always wanted to be in America. I, I, I didn't want to, it's weird because I, I, I just thought that it was the big leagues and I, you know, I had a, such a good base down in Australia and, you know, I could have been there for 15 a years, time. a long time, making good money, you know, doing the th things, but for me it wasn't a challenge anymore, like, I, and you probably understand it, like, you've done what you wanted to achieve, I, got, I won a championship, I won Bathurst, which is basically Indy 500, or yeah. Monaco, or, or um, Le Mans, yeah. whatever, it's the big race, and for me, I checked it off, you know, and, and it was about now, extending myself and trying something completely different, and that was IndyCar. Did you want to come to the US before, because your wife is American, right? Yes, yes, yes. So did you want to come before you got to meet her and got married? Or yeah. was it something that came because she talked, she spoke about America? Yeah, no, I, so I met Carly in 2016 um, and we uh, obviously hit it off and whatever. But before that, I was uh, way entrenched in America. My, my mum and dad really, I grew up basically idolized in America um, because of my dad had hot rods, like old cars and, and loved uh, movies like American Graffiti and Greece. And it was just like the American way of life it was quite cool for us and, and from little family in New Zealand, like it's like a big country compared to what we're used to. I mean, there's five or six million people in, in New Zealand. And you know, there's what, Same 200, Switzerland. yeah, 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 exactly. It's like 200 million here. It's just a, a crazy place. So I first came here in 2013. And after that, I was actually to race supercars at, at Coda. And after that, I fell in love with the place. And I was like, no, I've got to be back here one day. And then the short story, uh, Roger Petsky was entering the, the entering the series in Australia. I messaged Tim Sindrick and said, hey, these are my details. One day I'd love to be a part of the organization um, in any capacity. And then from that point on, uh, he messaged me in 2016. And basically when I met Carly and we did the deal and I drove to Penske and that opened the door to here. So what's, obviously they're very different cars. Yeah. What was the hardest part to adjust initially? I think the downfalls. Right? Yeah, the downfalls. Trusting the aerodynamics. Trusting like when you break on like a clean, like little passes. I've watched you, a lot of your passes last year. Like, you know, how you use the grip 
you know, on the outside compared to the guy on the inside, you know, you can really command position by doing that, but trusting the aerodynamics to pull you up. So I, I felt like I got onto the speed and doing the one lap pace in some ways quicker than I probably thought, um, but trusting the aerodynamics in a race situation and where to position your car to be, you know, defense and, and defense and, and attacking, that's what I had to learn. And then the proximity of the car against the walls. And I'm so used to be on the right side of the car, right up against it, scrubbing my mirrors. Where here, it's like you scrub your wheels, you know? And it, it all clicked for me was St. Pete. And when I polled and, and you know, I felt like my, I had, you know, all my proximity, you know, really well, so yeah. it was good. And on overs, you've always been good because yeah. the first one in Texas last year finished second. Yeah. Which pissed me off back yeah. home because I was like, bloody hell for the rookie championship last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's probably what got me across the line. Uh, yeah, so it, just, it was just natural, right? It's, yeah. For some people, it's very hard, and for some, it's, yeah. it's very natural, I guess. I think, like, I was just, I, I don't know, it was just like, I had no bad habits for the oval. It was just a blank sheet of paper, yeah. kind of like yourself, probably, you know? Like, you don't have preconceived ideas of what an oval is going to feel like. It's just you get told what to do. This how you drive the car, we're gonna set it up this way. And you just tell us if you need a bit more turn or if the car's a bit free and we'll just work it in. I was very lucky, I was on Petsky, you know, and you're, you're on, you know, with Coin, but you know, now with Andretti on your first oval venture. It's good being with a big team with a lot of data, a lot of setup knowledge, um, all walks of setup knowledges, you know, like going from one one car to another. I'm sure Rossi drives a lot different to Herder and whatever. For me to have Simon, Will, Joseph last year to bounce feedback off, guys that have all nearly won, all won the Indy 500 and championships, it was, you know, it was great for me. Um, so like I said, it was just no bad habits, blank sheet of paper and just make it happen. And, and I felt really comfortable straight away. Yeah, you did, you did. Yeah. And, uh, now we're here, Indy 500, uh, it's a big one. Yeah, yeah. It is, it is bigger than, than you can imagine, right? Yeah, yeah, all right. I'm so excited to see you on race day, because I think, I mean, you've seen some big races, don't get me wrong, but like, I think when you see this place, like I saw a half full last year, I was like, wow. Like it's crazy. Like I think when you go out for driver intros, you're waving and, and all that. It's just it's so like goosebumps. And then as you've seen, as we've gone across this calendar all across America, like they're so patriotic. Yes. And and the troops and we're racing on Memorial Day. And honestly, man, like it, it, it I was like emotional last year. Like crazy. I, I don't get emotional that much. And, and like it was just like the the whole the aura around the event. So I'm excited with mum and dad. They're gonna be here. Cool. For the first time, you'll meet them probably. My dad be here though. Yeah, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First so, IndyCar race. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. same for us. Yeah. So like, I mean, I'm so pumped. Like two and a half years, I haven't seen them for. So it's um, wow. it's gonna be it's gonna be a bit of a reunion, that's for sure. Okay, so coming from Formula One, the atmosphere between the drivers is is very different in yeah. IndyCar and in Formula One. Yeah. I've bought a few guys, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm on the <laughs> no. name. Yeah. Uh, but how, how is it compared to V8 Supercar? Is it as friendly in, in Australia? Because for us, Australia, they're Australian people, they're all cool. Right? Yeah. Even in Australia, it's easy going, and yeah. I love that. But how is it into the race? Uh, Australia battles with a, a syndrome, it's called tall poppy syndrome. So if you're going really well, you know, people will like, will shoot you down or try and bring you down or, or you know, talk crap behind your back or whatever, you know, and I had a lot of that. Um, I probably didn't help myself sometimes, but there's definitely like a lot of jealousy. And, and I mean, I, I'm always one to like nip back and, and, you know, defend my team, defend me or, you know, and I'll say what I think when I need to. Um, and it's part of it, right? And sometimes it didn't sit well with the drivers back there and, and I probably wasn't the most popular there. That's for sure. And I think a lot of that was due to our success and how we went. Yeah, I think you are. You got there, as I said, I didn't, initially I didn't like you because you were beating Alex yeah. at Prima. Yeah. But you probably one of the most successful out there. Yeah, we, with Jamie Winkup. Jamie Winkup, he was the he's for me is the greatest of all time. Like he like he He's good. That, that, yeah, good, solid, professional. Nice guy too. But isn't it crazy though, like him, Van Gies, uh, a couple other guys, but mainly those two were the I was the most closest with out of everyone. And we were the ones battling for championships for since twenty seventeen, you know, and I think that goes to show the respect between yeah you know, guys that are either winning or not, you know, and, and the difference in the and the mentality in that. I, I find there's a lot more jealousy in that paddock than yep. there is sort of here. Yeah. And here it's very welcoming, as you know, like everyone's, but what I like here, it's professional. Like you come in, you can have a beer, you can hang out and talk, yep. talk whatever with the guys and girls. But once you get out of there, it's like on. Oh yeah, it's And it's, it's on. like, it's, it's, it's brutal racing. And I race, I rate that. Cause when, once it's done, everyone's like, yeah, like yeah, hey, I love that. Apart, apart from you know yeah you've had a few moments or you know but that's <laughs> racing it, it, it yeah. always happens but i respect that and yeah, i like no, I, love I like that. how they, they go I about the racing 
Thanks, Scott. Uh, I shouldn't say it, uh, but I think if you make it to Formula yeah. One, you'll be successful. You're <laughs> yeah. probably one of the most talented uh, guys that I ever appreciate that. Everyone yeah. went through. I mean, you know, coming from V8 to IndyCar to doing what you do now. As I told you after the Indy GP race, I was amazed by your capacity of racing now. Because yeah, yeah. last year was it wasn't easy to pass you, but it was, it was you know, easy, I could yeah. I could yeah. get you from a bit of experience. <laughs> yeah. All right now it's like okay, now I need to dig deep, right? Uh, yeah, we had a good battle. We had a good Sunday. battle, I love that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we spun on the safety car. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, it if you were going to do it, I was going to do it. Yeah, it was yeah. atrocious. Uh, but no, I appreciate it. And honestly, uh, you've been a great friend this whole time, and I'm excited for more battles, mate. Yeah, me too. I'm, I guess we're going to fight for championship in the future. Let's make it happen. Maybe this year. Cheers, brother. <laughs>